Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're going to be diving into the world of Phantom and specifically talking about the price action of FTM. Uh, we're also going to be taking a look at just two levels today. We're going to be taking a look at the daily chart and of course the hourly chart and walking you through what our expectations are on the larger time frame and of course the smaller time frame. Now as we get into this, if you do find it useful and informative, hit that like button. I really do appreciate it. If you are new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap that bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With that said, done out of the way, let's dive right on into what is going on here with Phantom. So we're going to start things off, guys, with this week, uh, sorry, the daily chart. And uh, we're really going to be talking about these five impulse waves that we've seen so far. Uh, obviously, the correction of fourth wave here pushing up. And then we're seeing a correction wave just right now um, ahead of our expectations. We are looking at going for that full 4.236 extension coming in at $3.57. OK, so a pretty good price target to be had. We're about 199% away from that area right now from the current price up to that 4.236 extension. Okay, so overall, um, Phantom has already risen up, um, well, at least from uh, our low areas of March 2020 through to the highs in May of 2021 was 58,000%. Uh, and again, we can actually now go ahead and set this up onto the recent all-time high area, which would show 121,000% in gain. So some pretty good moves have been made and uh, some pretty good profits have been made if you are an early adopter of this particular protocol. Okay, so let's drive down right Right into this and see exactly what's been going on most recently here um, as we can start to see a good kind of correction uh, here for for phantom on the daily chart now what we are looking for is to finish this off uh, there is a bit of a cup and handle kind of pattern forming here um, and as a result of that cup and handle we could start to see a good surge to the upside maybe even completing this 4.236 extension and finishing its run altogether now i do expect some volatility on the smaller time frame still um so this could be you know a week to maybe two weeks after that is done then i expect expect that we're going to see some all-time high set for pretty much all the altcoins including bitcoin uh, and then obviously the the end of the bull run is just around the corner so we are talking a couple more months um, and it should all be done and dusted and then uh, we'll be finishing off and going into a bear market where we'll be walking through with you guys all the different strategies in accumulating fantastic positions ahead of the 2025 run so do stick around for that okay so overall we are seeing a good run to the upside so far we've seen this correction um after reaching a new high area up here of one dollar and 94 the pullback comes in line pretty much with the rest of the crypto market everything that's been going on with bitcoin it did find support just on the previous high of 96 cent and we started to move back to the upside steadily from here a little bit of volatility and we can of course talk about how our um, stochastic rsi is moving slowly out of that oversold area and um, into a nice comfortable area this does of course mean that we have a little bit of room to fall down if we needed to and um, talking about kind of correction waves we could potentially pull our sales down a little bit lower and um, finishing that off if the market needed it to um, overall i'm not optimistic on that but uh, you know it's possible that we do start to see um, that wave kind of finishing its way off down to the bottom uh, and then obviously from there uh, we'll be off to uh, the races up to setting some new all-time highs where we really talk about that 2.618 coming in at 2.26 uh, or $2.26 followed by the 3.618 coming in at $3.07 and then that 4.236 extension at $3.57. Just like we saw with Solana though we are expecting a potential wick just above that and um, finishing this one off uh, probably just a little bit above that area uh, before falling down much lower. So again um, everything here is pretty much going uh, according to plan in terms of our expectations expectations on the kind of larger time frames and um, so there's no nothing really overly concerning about this uh, obviously the kind of correction waves are natural uh, they kind of happen although sometimes you can see some regurgitation of old news trying to pull the market down a little bit but overall um, everything is pretty much as you would kind of expect it to be and there's nothing unusual about this it just kind of shakes out retail investors who are inexperienced but overall um, if you're holding your way through it you're going to find that you're going to be going after this higher area here of about $3.57 um, somewhere in that area and if you do miss the top of course you can get it on the bounce on the way down and um, do not fret and um, so overall um everything on the daily is looking pretty good so let's jump down into our hourly um, and this is where we start to see that uh, that volatility that i was talking about right because if i zoom on out here uh, we can see that we are in this downward kind of uh, parallel channel right we are kind of tracking our way down to the downside okay but uh, we are of course in the oversold area on the stochastic as well as we bounce from the support level of one dollar and 18 cent okay so we're bouncing from here but the expectation will be that we'll find resistance up on this area here as the sentiment in the space is not 
not the strongest um, and the expectation would be that we'd fall down a little bit lower i think ultimately we are looking for a lower area than the one we've had previously as we test this trend down here or maybe even just this support level at 90 cent is all that is required okay so i think we're going to break some of these areas and i would expect us to finish the move off before we absolutely go nuts uh, as we go into october in a really strong way so overall this is where we're seeing the volatility right we're seeing it inside here and we're also seeing that sentiment not being the strongest as well we get little pockets where we can see um you know some good kind of sentiment coming through um, and we can of course use the avide.io dashboard to help us understand exactly what is going on and um, so here there is a link in the description below for anyone who doesn't know but this uh avide.io they use artificial intelligence and machine learning to help us understand the underlying value of cryptocurrencies they give us a bit of an insight the outside of the chart data that helps us understand how things like liquidity are performing or the return on investment the sharp ratio um, the fear and greed index that is specific to the cryptocurrencies that you're interested in and here for phantom we have a b1 rating overall and we can break that down a little bit lower we have the AMIHAD ratio in A2. AMIHAD ratio is your liquidity and an A2 rating represents there is very little wrong with the liquidity aspect of Phantom. So that's a pretty good positive. We can take a look at the profitability, the return on investments in A1. And of course, it's performed incredibly well, over 121,000% in gains since uh, March of 2020. So overall performing incredibly well. The fear and greed index, however, is a C1. This is that sentiment in the space. It's quite fearful, right? It's not extremely fearful. But it is fearful. So we have to be mindful that people are willing to sell Phantom more so than they are potentially willing to buy it up. That being said, there are some savvy traders out there who acknowledge where we are in the market and are buying up people's fear. The sharp ratio also represents this, right? The sharp ratio is your risk reward ratio. The risk to holding FTM versus, of course, the risk um, to uh, not holding it, right? And this risk reward ratio is actually showing us in our favor, right? An A2 rating overall, well above the 50 day average. It's indicating to us that actually holding Phantom is not a bad decision. Okay, so um, despite the fact that the fear is fear in the space, we are seeing that volatility on the smaller time frames. And we can, of course, acknowledge that the sharp ratio is in our favor, the liquidity is in our favor, the profitability is in our favor. And the only issue really is the sentiment in the space. So when we take a look at this volatility that's uh, looking to occur here on the, uh, on the hourly chart, we can see that there is a little bit of a pocket here of people buying up. Otherwise, actually, the, the volumes aren't doing too much, right? We start to see the price pull back and there's a, a pocket of selling there and there isn't really a too much buying going on. So I, I do expect us to, to kind of push up steadily towards our trend line, get rejected from there and uh, basically just fall our way down steadily as we kind of complete this correction wave and then finish it off. We are looking to go slightly lower to really truly finish it off. So 90 cent support is a pretty logical area that we should be aiming for personally to kind of finish that area off with a nice bounce from that point and um, to move to the upside. But obviously we'll kind of keep an eye on this one. It's not one that you want to kind of uh, jump straight in, sell up high, but you know, at the moment we are looking to push up. Um, so that's a positive. So we'll push up. We'll see what the stochastic is looking like. We'll see what the sentiment is looking like when we get to the higher areas and whether or not we are looking to kind of pull back and then analyze that on the way down as well so overall everything's looking pretty good we are oversold we are looking for that push to the upside and then of course we will be potentially looking for a pullback and we'll analyze where we think that's likely to pull back to in the very near future so right now the smaller time frame we do have volatility um, and we should prepare ourselves for that volatility but the longer time frame if we're ever in doubt the, the the daily for example is looking very good we're looking to complete the fifth wave to the upside very shortly taking us to about three dollars and 57 cent on this particular project guys i'm going to leave it there hopefully you have found this video useful and informative if you have hit that like button i really do appreciate it if you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe tap that bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here with that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next